Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing my top 10 beauty creations products. So if you wanna see what those products are, if you're into beauty creations, but you're not sure what to pick up first, what's good, what's not, if you wanna see what those products are, just keep on watching. <laughs> So I was originally going to do five girl, but I have other products in here that I could talk about right now and you guys could just know what's good and what is not good. So let's start off with the most basic kind of products that you can find on a site. That's kind of something that should I purchase? I don't know. There's affordable ones, but are these brands lip liners the best? Or are they just overpriced so the lip liners from beauty creations most times i just buy them in a set with a lipstick because i am going to talk about some lipsticks in their collection that's they're just amazing so i'd say if you're going to buy their lip liners make sure that they come in a set two for one kind of vibe so you can actually get a whiff of <laughs> whiff that's not a good word a feel for the lipstick formula because they're actually really good as well so these two actually came in a set this was part of their gingerbread set collection from last year christmas time and then this one is more on the newer side which is the gary mua lip lip liner in the shade yummy so basically what they do they do a lot of gel liners like so they're really nice they're really pigmented you have to sharpen them to get um, them nice and sharp again um, which is just basic lip liner 101 but these are just stunning they're really nice they're really pigmented and they just go on this on the lips really nicely as well are they my most favorite lip liners in the world no but if you're on there you're already looking at the site you're looking at the duos that come with the lipsticks i'd say eh, it's worth it the lip liners are really nice as well also the lipsticks talk about it now that we're here i have two lipsticks to talk about we have the marillo twins lipstick which looks like so really cute i mentioned this one in a favorites video i literally just mentioned this for my august favorites so this is the beauty creations tease me lipstick oh, stunning packaging so what i love about this one is it's a nice nude easy peasy just a nude that i can wear with brown lip liner quick and easy gives me a little bit of a bronzy effect on the lips gives me a little bit of a faded moment this one here is in the shade brie brie again just does its job really nice this one i'd say is more creamy than the one that i'll talk about right now this one is their tease me lipstick in the shade so it's mine and this one's definitely more on the nude kind of side more camel vibes and i definitely prefer this one over the other one now now that i have it but both of them are really good i mentioned both of them a lot it has a nice magnetic closure so i'd say if you pick between the two i definitely say pick one of the tease me lipsticks these are nice they're matte they're comfortable you can wear them all day long really nice and comfortable again amazing love them and these are like the ones that i've really been loving and i really want to see what other colors they have in this collection it goes to show that not all collaborations are like the best things on the site also things that are just in the regular line are amazing as well let's talk blushes we have one of their single blushes here also amazing also have one of the contours girls so let's talk about it so the ones in this type of packaging i think are an amazing formula and i think they should keep going and rolling with this type of packaging it's really cute however this one girl if you handle it a little too hard it's gonna break and that's basically what happened with the blush so i do have the blush in vibing with you which is basically just a pink blush it does come with a nice mirror as well it's just a really nice formula as you can see like the imprint has rubbed away because i use it that much here's a swatch of the shade itself it's really beautiful nice pinky kind of vibe goes on the face stunning love the packaging again it did break just be careful with that but it love that it comes with the mirror it's just a really cute little packaging also the bronzer i was really blown away by the bronzer and how they stayed with that same kind of packaging because it's stunning there's a close-up look at that this is just their perfecting bronzer matte in the shade down to earth so this one also comes with a nice mirror as well perfect if you're traveling with this again in the shade down to earth nice like bronzy almost leaning cool toned vibes it's just really nice and it blends into the skin beautifully girl so the bronzer formula is really stunning as well and it's really nice and pigmented exactly what i want in a bronzer it's just stunning and i love that their variety of colors their color range in each product is so wide anyone can buy from them girl it's stunning love both of the blush and the bronzer as well so next product we have their concealer so i originally really loved their foundation i also really loved their pressed powder foundation now i've 
since then fallen out of love with both of those i'm really sad about it but this here is really good as well this is a beauty creations full estate concealer so if you're looking for a concealer girl this one's really nice not only is the packaging really nice and elegant i love when they stick to that like gold top kind of vibe everything just looks really nice and clean it's just their aesthetic is stunning also they do the same thing with their powder which i'm going to talk about in a little bit but this is their concealer in the shade c13 and this shade specifically it just goes really well with my skin tone i love that it comes with a big dofa applicator as well really nice formula blends out nicely on the under eyes it's a really nice like medium to full coverage concealer in my opinion really nice really cute again if you're looking for concealer amazing they also have some liquid lipsticks in that same kind of packaging these are the sealed deal matte liquid lipsticks i do have two shades we have the shade drama mama which is a dark kind of burgundy shade and then we also have the more like brown shade in last touch i've spoken about these before they're really nice and comfortable on the lips i also do dry down they're almost that like movable matte formula it's not going to be like sucking the life out of your lips super dry but more like a wearable kind of matte liquid lipstick at the moment i'm more into lipsticks than i am liquid lipsticks but if you are looking for liquid lipstick on the site definitely recommend go with the seal the deal liquid lipsticks this one i love the dofa applicator it's really nice and long but also these are nice and so pigmented girl it's crazy again this one here is in drama mama then we have the shade last touch which is definitely more on the nude kind of vibe but both of them are so beautiful again i love the long dofa applicator these are really nice and pigmented so comfortable on the lips as well so i really much enjoy this seal the deal formula also packaging wise girl beautiful next in that same kind of packaging we have their setting powder so this is newer to me i did mention it in a beauty creations haul recently i've really fallen into love with this powder and i didn't think i would because i haven't been into loose powders as of lately i'm more on the press powder route but this one here is really good and this is called their what are you called by filter loose powder and i use the shade honey me and the shade itself is really good with for my skin tone what i find with the color it doesn't really stick to the skin it just sets your face down in such a beautiful way but it doesn't alter the shade of your foundation or anything it doesn't oxidize is what i find it's just really nice and again i've been using it for not too long so i can't really like say a long-term kind of commitment to this product but so far now that i've been using it it's actually really good and i love the packaging the actual price point is not too bad it's just a really nice product if you're looking for a loose powder on their site these are really nice next we have setting spray so i do have two different ones to talk about we have their mini ones which are basically just like their big ones in little size literally the same exact products they each have their own unique scent to them the one that i have here specifically is in pineapple they're really cute i love the packaging of the small ones they're amazing they also have some larger ones that have the same exact packaging same smell they're literally the same thing so if you're trying you want to try out a setting spray go with the mini ones just so you can try it you know you don't want to commit too much yeah they're really good and they actually smell really amazing as well this one here is newer to my collection yeri mua and beauty creations i love their collaboration i'm gonna talk about their palette in a little bit i really love they choose to collaborate with different people and people with different backgrounds and different followings i think it's amazing so each one that they come out with is really exciting especially this one because it was more on the brats theme and you guys know how i feel about brats i love them so yeah i'm so excited about this collection so this setting spray here is amazing it does have a nice smell to it it's really strong it's almost on like the body spray vibe is what you get with this so if you're not into scents definitely stay away from these but if you love it girl you're gonna love them next we have face palettes they have quite a few face palettes on their site these are specifically from different collaborations that they've had i don't know if they have specific ones for their actual line I think they do but this one here is the marillo's twin quad it comes with bronzers it comes with blushes really love and reach for these often especially this one because it does come with the bronzer shades in here and the blushes also amazing 10 out of 10 you have a, the picture of both twins on there this is really cute and i love the packaging i also did pick up the um, gingerbread collection as i mentioned earlier and this was the palette that came with that this is called the let's get cozy face palette literally comes with a mirror didn't notice that um, and it comes with three blushes and one highlight also really amazing but again i reach for the other one a little more because it has the bronzers so definitely choose what you like what your preferences are what you're going to reach for the most depends on you girl but this one's also really nice so they have really good quads as well and the last products that i have to talk about are their eyeshadow palettes if you guys have been on my channel i've talked about this some of their palettes girl sometimes that 
formula tends to change some palettes are better than others specifically this one here is one of my first like top favorite palettes from their site this is the Yvette collaboration eyes on me palette you guys know girl I did a Barbie video earlier today literally use this it's just amazing comes with a mirror and you just get the most beautiful pinky tones in here but you can also do very much like wearable looks they're really nice they're super pigmented now they are powdery but I find that with a lot of palettes anyway so that doesn't really deter me from using this it's so good you guys know if you know if you ride with me you guys know this is a favorite so this is definitely one that i recommend you check out i think packaging has a lot to do with products and this is another product that i love this is part of the yari Amiwe collaboration part of that like brats kind of theme collaboration and that's why i just love this one this one's so cute it is pink as well but what she did different is that she added um face powders in here now the face powders are cute but when i reach for this it's mostly for the eyeshadow colors in here it's just really nice again more on that pink kind of vibe you also do get very much like wearable shades in here you get a lot of shimmers in here as well it's just a perfect mix of shimmers and mattes for me it's just perfect and again i have that extra bonus of having two blushes and two highlights in here as well so really nice really recommend those two palettes but again be careful when you're shopping on there read reviews watch videos on them because a lot of times their eyeshadow formula can very much be hit or miss yeah so that's it those are the last products that i have to talk about with you guys about beauty creations let me know what you're going to pick up from their site let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear it and what is your favorite product from beauty creations i'd love to know we made it to the end of course don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>